Hello and welcome to Two Minutes of Anatomy. I am Dr. Donald Lozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. On today's Two Minutes of Anatomy, I'm going to speak about muscles in the foot. There are two very distinct groups of muscles in the foot. There is the extrinsic muscles, which their origin is outside of the foot. It can be on the femur, on the tibia, or on the fibula. And then they, they attach to bones in the foot, or it can be the intrinsic muscles of the foot. In the intrinsic muscles of the foot, the origin and the attachment are on bones in the foot. Now I'm going to speak about the extrinsic muscles of the foot. Like I mentioned before, the origin of the extrinsic foot muscles is located outside of the foot. It can be on the femur, which is the thigh bone. It can be on the tibia, which is the large bone in the lower leg. And it, or it can be on the fibula, which is the long slender bone located on the lateral part of the lower leg. There are three different groups. There are ones that are located in the anterior. An example of that is the tibialis anterior. There's ones that are located on the lateral part of the lower leg or originate on the lateral part of the lower leg. That is the peroneus longus and the peroneus brevis. Those are two examples. And then there are ones that are located in the posterior part of the lower leg or originate in the posterior part of the lower leg. Examples include the gastrocnemius, the soleus and the tibialis posterior. The ex extrinsic muscles of the foot, they're mainly responsible for ankle motions, such as inversion, eversion, plantar flexion, and dorsiflexion. So again, the foot has two distinct muscle groups, the extrinsic muscles and the intrinsic foot muscles.